This is a Ryan Mitchell production. Hello everyone. Welcome to Prints for Science. Today I am going to talk about life cycle assessment on denim. We know that denim industry is one of the largest industries which having the largest impact on environmental pollutions because the business is expected in the year of 2020 around 65.3 billion US dollars. So every year 1.8 billion pair of denim is sold out. If you see the average USA consumers buy 8 pairs of denim per year in case of China is 1 pair in case of India is 0.3 pairs. So it is so important to conduct the life cycle assessment on denim to get an idea from how its impact on environmental pollutions. So this data is conducted from cradle to grave. Cradle is nothing but from land preparation for cultivation and grave is nothing but after uh, the life cycle the denim is going for landfill or some other purpose. If you see I have a two pictures which which shows how these denim industries or textile industries makes pollution or to the environment if you see this picture which was shooted in Ahmedabad near denim industries so this polluted water is comes from the industries without effluent proper effluent treatment and if you see the polluted water mixed with river water and it's makes totally polluted and it's not at all used for agriculture for or any other purpose I have a video which shows how the polluted water is mixed with the river so this is colored water is coming from the industries without any treatment so after making the dyeing so just this simply open the and it just mix with the water bodies and that goes to that go and mix with the river or after that it cannot able to use by the people Okay, now we can talk about denim and its assessment. The denim is always been made with cotton. Yes, of course, there are some denims which is possible to make or which is available, which is available in the form of polyester or some other fibers. And some denim is even in cotton also they use some amount of uh, polyurethane for uh, better fitting and all those things. But this. Uh, this life cycle assessment is conducted for cotton based denim so so it is important to discuss about the cotton so usda is says cotton is alone consuming 25 percentage of insecticides which is produced globally and 12 percentage of pesticides as compared to other crops because of these insecticides pesticides and fertilizers the USDA says cotton is one of the most toxic crops because it make pollutant to the land. Due to this fact, it create environmental as well as health risk. Health risk is nothing but the birth ratios and so many things. Apart from this, cotton is consuming almost seven to twenty nine thousands of liter to produce one kilogram of raw cotton let's go for the phase of life cycle for denim so the first is the natural resources which is nothing but land water and all those things after that it goes for cultivation and extraction or harvesting the fibers then we have to make uh, yarn and we then make uh, warp and then after that it goes for coloration then it's go for weaving then it's go for sewing which makes a garment after garments is some garments are going for washing and all those things so now good now the denim is ready so after making ready it goes for uh, transportation from one place to another place usually the denims are most of the denim is manufactured in Asian countries that comes to Europe and USA so 
later on the customers going to purchase the denim then after that they use they use it and they we uh, they wash it and they iron it for washing and uh, for steaming all those things we need the energy that energy is directly uh, influence or directly release the carbon dioxide in other side so after getting the life cycle so it is ready for a disposal or land filling there are some possibilities which makes uh, to reduce this impact the first one is reuse there are some products which can possible to make by old denims like uh, curtains and pillow covers and many things and after that it is possible to use recycle and particularly with uh, polyester and all those things it's possible to use recycle and again we can go for mill spinning and we can make the filaments and it is possible to make um, denim once again there are some concept which was developed by levis which is called eight bottles for one denim so after uh, uh, this waste waste bottles like water bottle or uh, some coca cola bottles or something like that from eight bottles they melted and again they make the recycled polyesters it's called recycle and for recovery it's possible to do some recovery uh, we can take the old denim and we can extract the fibers and it's possible to make again uh, by using spinning and all those things is possible to make so if it if if it is not possible by reuse recycle and recovery it's possible only the way is for land filling by using these three steps it is possible to reduce the load for land fill let's talk about stages of else life cycle assessment the first st stage is the goal what is the goal for conducting the life cycle assessment and second stage is for uh, the data we have to collected from cradle to grave from uh, that means from uh, land preparation how much energy is required for land preparation so what are all the equipments they use and for cultivation after cultivation they use for water and uh, for growing all those things and then it's go for harvesting we use a uh, different kind of harvesting by using manual or by using machine so how much energy is required for all those things uh, later on it go for uh, ginning and for yarn manufacturing after yarn manufacturing prepare the warp and coloration after coloration it make for denim after making denim it's getting ready for uh, washing after washing it's go for uh, Uh, to the retailer shop so all those things which involve a lot of transportation which require lots of energy so all these data are calculated the third stage is for impact assessment stage and the fourth stage is for recommendation or it's called for conclusion so this slides which can explain how we conducted the life cycle assessment on denim so from fiber cultivation as i said before fiber cultivation and yarn formation coloration and for garment making and transportation all those things apart from these also we calculate from consumer care point if you see these are all the some functional units or which are all the most important part for how we conduct the life cycle assessment the material is 100% cotton the raw material is manufactured from that means the fiber is manufactured from india and pakistan uh, we make the coloration for the particular product for a synthetic indigo and the finishing was done by stone wash and weight of the jeans is around 420 g the year of production was 2017 the life cycle assessment was conducted 2018 just before one month and the the following iso standard is 14040 the number of study was conducted three times and average values so used to make the graphs if you see the environmental impact categories there are five environmental impact categories but in this videos i am going to give only for two and the rest of the three is i am going to give in the next videos if you see the climate change which can be denoted in kilogram of carbon dioxide emissions in case of water consumption it is denoted in the liter of water is consumed let's go in the data the carbon emission in case of fiber production 3.2 kilogram of carbon dioxide is emitted for making of one denim which is around 420 grams 
and for fib fabric production it's around 11.4 kilogram of carbon dioxide is emitted in case of garment making is 2.9 for in the packing and all it's around 2.1 and transportation which is around 4.2 kilogram of carbon dioxide is emitted in consumer care is 14.5 kilogram of carbon dioxide is emitted why is so high it is nothing because after purchasing we wear every day or after every day we wash and there are some customers who wear three days continuously that means three times then wash some people they wear five times then they wash if the customer is washing every wear tri trials that increase the amount of energy required for washing and uh, followed by steam ironing all those things for particularly for consumer care uh, i will make the another video that i will upload in later so end of life which deals with uh, disposal and all those things is require almost 1 kg of carbon dioxide is produced if you see the climate change impact percentage by every phase the 10 percentage of is belongs to fiber production and 27 percentage belongs to fabric production and garment production is 8 percentage responsible for a climatic change and sundry and packing is 5 percentage and transportation logistics and retail is 11 percentage responsible for climatic changes and consumer care is very high is around 37 percentage is responsible for climatic changes end of life is 3 percentage impact let's go for water consumption in liter for fiber production is required 2660 liters of water for making of 420 grams of denim in case of fabric production is 290 liters which including coloration in case of garment making is 45 liters including washing is require 45 liters of water to produce for 420 g of denim in case of packing and after uh, making of garments there are some possibility to some washing and effects so it require 90 liters in case of consumer care 980 liters of water is required for washing so this case can be calculated in average like 3 every 3 trials if you wash it's almost 980 liters of water is used for its entire life cycle so water consumption in percentage share if you see the fiber production is 63 percentage is shared and fabric production is 6 percentage for responsible for water consumption and finishing is 1 percentage and packing and washing is around 2 percentage in consumer care is 28 percentage for responsible water consumption for, for okay now what to do the first one is we have we should know the value of 3r is nothing but reduce reuse and recycle reduce means we should reduce for purchasing number of denims per year in case of usa they they consume eight pairs of denim for average we should reduce by uh, by reduction of uh, the number of denim for purchasing we can make some good impact on environmental concerns and reuse is nothing but we have to reuse uh, in denim the old denim in different purpose so that other uh, textiles can be reduced to purchase and for recycles it's possible to do some recycle so that uh, we can reduce the environmental impacts and second one is we should know the eco labeling and we should know the meaning of eco labeling and labeling particularly in the label they mention different different meanings the many of the customers they doesn't know what it really means so based on these things we can go for land filling and all those things which reduce the environmental burdens if you see iso 260000 is not only for in the uh, organization or industries it's for uh, individual also what it is it is a social responsibility social responsibility is not only for the organization it is for individuals 
and if you for alternatives for cotton we can suggest organic cotton which reduce the number of uh, it, it reduce the consumption of pesticides and insecticides and fertilizers so the land will never uh, land will reduce the environmental pollutions and in case of our polyester uh we can use a recycled polyester for cotton i am sorry for cotton it is possible to use some colored cotton so who is having more responsible for this there are two people we uh, there are two people who have the more responsible for reduction of environmental impacts on the denim the first one is consumers and second one is the buyers or in the designers they should design some colorless garments which they can promote so that it reduces the environmental impact by in some extent for more information if you refer this books you can get a uh, lot of information regarding uh, life cycle assessment and water consumption so water cycle assessment this is a bio-mixing production